remember I just said to you, I didn't think she was very intelligent. She's proving it. Gee, well, if you think if we get married, that'll solve the bill problem. No, it's not. It's going to make it worse with someone like this. Thank you so much for joining us. We are going to listen to a Dave Ramsey show that ran just two days ago, and it is called This Is Not Working. Let's hit it. Brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. I am 26 and I'm about $150,000 in debt. And I'm just dreaming, trying to figure out how can I change my life? How can I get out of this debt? I just feel like I'm stuck. Um, so I just really need your advice on how I get out of this finance. We've got it, folks. I think that is one of the shortest intro calls where we already know what the problem is. <laughs> She has 126K in debt. Let's do it, folks. Let us pour that tea. All right, so let's find out what this debt is made up of. I imagine it's made up of student loans and credit cards. That's usually, folks, what gets us in trouble, student loans and credit cards. And if you really think about it, that is all within our control. It really is financial mess. Um, and I think housing is a big part of my budget that I really can't afford right now. Hmm. Okay. What are you making? So I actually just got a new job and I'm making 55 base and I'm in sales, um, medical sales. So I'm going to be able to get commission. Great. So you, you think it'll be like a hundred K with your commission? I really hope so. Cause I would make a significant impact on me that I think. Absolutely. I live with my boyfriend. You know, when people sit and they say, well, you think you're going to make 100K, you don't know what you're going to make on commission. And didn't she say it's a new job? She Her base is 55K. You don't know that you're going to make 100K on commission. Now, didn't we just do a story the other day, family, about some dude and this company wants him to invest in, I swear to God, snap on tools. So I'm just going to say, you know, it's a tool business, right? They want him to invest 107. They want him to invest $170,000 because they're telling him he can make that and then some. You don't know what you're going to make on a job until you've actually been in the job. You know your territory. You've done the job. So to go from 55K, oh, yes. And that's George. Yes, George and Ramsey today. For George to say, well, what do you think you're going to make, 100K? Oh, well, I think I'm going to win the lottery tomorrow and make a cool mill. Just saying. Friend as well. Okay. What is the 150 in debt? So uh, 88 of it is student loans. Uh, my monthly payment's fixed, and it's not insane. That's about $105 a month. But the credit cards is really where I got into trouble. Um, and I had to move unexpectedly. So they just crept up and now I'm in a spot where I can pretty much only pay the minimum on everything. How much Hold on. do you owe on credit cards? Um, I would say about $32,000. Okay. And what's the rest car? Yeah, I have a car payment. How and, much is your car um, debt? Um, it's about, I just got it under $10,000. Okay, that does not that does not total up to one fifty. You're missing the rest about of it. twenty. I'm missing another twenty. Um, then, okay, sorry, then I'm probably it's okay. Ten on a car, thirty two yeah. on credit cards, eighty eight on student loans. That's one hundred and twenty. Um, and then I okay, I guess I have more credit card debt than that. Ah, jeez. <laughs> so you have more like fifty two thousand in credit card debt. <gasps> Yeah. Did this girl just wake up this morning? Did she just wake up? Family, this is a disaster. Now, she says here that her big problem is the credit card debt. No, it's not. It's not her big problem. Why is it not her big problem? If you have been watching this channel, why is that not her big problem, family? Can anybody tell me? Yeah, it's not credit cards. Because what can you do with credit cards that you can't do with other types of debt? You can go bankrupt on credit cards, okay? I'd rather see have her see it reversed. I'd rather see I have 88000 I mean, not, not that this is good. Don't get me wrong. I'd rather see I have $88,000 in credit card debt, all right? Well, in this case, in, 
50,000 student loans. This whole thing just sucks. Okay. But I think she's got it kind of backwards as to what she thinks the real problem is. The other problem is, um, other than sounding like she just woke out, woke up, not that that's really a problem sounding like you woke up, but when you're calling into a show and you're trying to lay out your finances and you have like five minutes to talk to Ramsey to do it, you might want to be a little bit more awake on the buzzer. Um, she seems very nonchalant with it. Let us see what our chat is saying. Hold up, folks. I got to move the screen so I can see the chat because I now have my bifocals on. Okay, let's see here. Barla says bankrupt. Yeah, but, par but par she can only go bankrupt on the credit card portion. And that's... And, and here's the thing. She got 52 grand, it sounds like. Didn't she sound nonchalant? Like, well, I have 32. Well, maybe it is 52. Oh, my goodness. So Parler says, um, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm scrolling. Okay, excuse me. MJ Solo. I'm, MJ, I'm just going to call you MJ, okay? MJ says half the problem is that people don't have their debts spread out in front of them before they call the show. It really shows their lack of organization. <laughs> Yeah, you know you're calling in. You know you're calling into a debt show, so why would you not lay it out? You know why? Because it explains why they're in debt to begin with. They're in debt to begin with because they lack organization in their money management. That's how I got in trouble. So literally, for her to go, oh, it's 32. I guess it's not 32. It must be 52. That that That's like, you know, property pieces apart. That explains why she's in the position she's in. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm looking at all the numbers here, but I would say it's a little bit less than 150, but it's definitely between 120 and 150. Um, and then my boyfriend also has like some um, stuff in collections and I have some medical debt. You guys have not combined finances, right? Not completely. Um, what you either did or you did not combine finances. You either are, or you are not pregnant, right? Um, MJ writes, we were thinking the same thing. You did it right after I typed it and sent it in. <laughs> okay. But isn't that, but we are you guys just like to, splitting rent or something? We, pr he, we pretty much have a bill account and he, um, puts money in there and I put money in there, um, every time we get paid. And now we just really have nothing extra. Everything goes to bills and we're just splitting everything 50, 50. Um, and because our rent pretty expensive, um, you know, we just don't have any option to like not be combining finance. If her boyfriend's anything like this, I sure hope they don't get married. Because, you know, and for those who may be multitasking, okay, she said that they have a bill account, B-I-L-L, -L, okay? Sometimes it's hard for me to even understand it, okay? Um, they have a bill account, I guess, you know, when they get paid, they put money into the bill account. I, I guess that works, too. I guess, but it's, what's the title of this called? This is not working. I was just going to say, but I don't think this is working out for them. And her boyfriend has stuff in collection. Guys, this is, this is a mess. At this point. So it sounds like you have combined your finances. Yeah. For the most part, we have like, see, for the most part, you either have, or you have not put all like your income. Accounts. You both of you put all your income into one account and pay both the bills. Yeah. Okay. That's the definition of combining finances okay what's your rent how much are we talking here uh it's twenty two hundred dollars a month mm. Mm, 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 mm. I know family, um, that, that was a whole, I hope I didn't turn on the cows accidentally. Um, that was a whole lot more rent than I was expecting. I was kind of like going, okay, maybe, you know, 17, 18. I, I was thinking even on the high end of 19, $2,200 for rent. Now I want you to imagine a lady here who doesn't seem to know if she's 30, but she thinks she's closer to 50, $52,000 in debt. And I would say she's probably closer to the 52,000 mark. Here's the thing. She knows she's got about 150 grand. She just don't know where it's all laid out. $2,200 in rent. 
That's a lot. And now they're in Portland. Is Emmy Maine? Guys, I did not do well in geography. I did not do well in math. I did not do well in science. Okay, I think that's Portland, Maine. Her name is Natalie. That's the caller. Now, I don't know how much rent is in Portland, Maine. I think that's Maine. All right. If it's not, again, I did not do well in math, science, or geography. But I know how to write a darn good paper. <laughs> so that's about 1100 bucks between the two of you? That seems like a lot of rent. Yeah. Well, they don't have, they don't know. Um, <gasps> did you hear, did you hear the sly remark that Dave Ramsey just said? Did you hear what Dave just said, family? He said they don't know. That's Dave, Dave's way of kind of, you know, poking salt into the wound. Yeah, she seems clueless. She really does. Yes, there is a Portland, Oregon. You are right, MJ, and I'm from Portland, Oregon. I'm from Eugene, Portland, Oregon. I was raised in Eugene, but then, of course, I also lived in Portland. <sighs> All right. Uh, there, there's... Um... Guys, all, all that sound is Dave. All, all, all that cricket stuff, that that's him. You, you know why there are crickets, you know why there are crickets going on? There are crickets going on because of the fact that really they don't seem to know what they're doing. That's why there are crickets going on. They don't seem to know. Mm -hmm. What were you making before you took this new job? Fifty two thousand dollars. Okay. So you got a slight raise plus commission. How long before mm -hmm. you start getting commissions? My first commission check is going to be on the 26th, so in a couple weeks or a week from now. I can bet you that's probably no 100K check. Um, MJ writes, I like Dave's snarky tone. Yeah, he and he and uh, MJ also writes, he's so rude. Yes, he can be rude. Um, then MJ writes, LOL. Parla writes, stop playing house. Yeah. They're playing house. And really what you have here, Parler, I think you got the blind leading the blind. Okay. So you're going to get commissions almost immediately. That's good. But if this, okay, guys, if she runs her job, anything like she's running her finances, she's not going to make commission. She's too disorganized. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, my guess say. is, is that you guys have been floundering like this for some time because mm -hmm. you're, you're since we moved. I'm sorry? I would say ever since we moved about a year ago. And moved. Troubled. Moved from where? Um, just another town. We had to move out of our apartment, and my rent was pretty much locked in um, at like $1,000 a month. And then the rent Wait. went up here and doubled. Everything. Wait, they had to move out of their apartment. It sounded like they were forcibly moved? And then she said they were locked in a thousand. Then they had to move. I want to know why they had to move. Nosy people want to know. Things doubled. Mm -hmm. So if you were broke, why did you move to where your rent doubled? Um, because the landlord was selling the building, so we didn't have a choice. What? What? What did you wait? 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 Oh, you had a were broke. Why did you move to where your rent doubled? Um, because the landlord was selling the building, so we didn't have a choice. Okay, they had to move because the landlord... Oh, you had a choice building. to stay in the town where the rent was cheaper. No, it really wasn't. It was only cheaper because of when I started renting the apartment. Oh, I see. Okay. You can't tell me. I don't care what city they're in. Maybe the exception... They're in Maine, okay? And I don't know about rent in Maine, okay? I really don't. You can't tell me that twenty two hundred was the best that they could find for Maine. I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Yeah. All right. Number one, we do not find people prospering, winning with money, building wealth, being in control, who combine finances with people that they're not married to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do not combine your finances anymore. You have your okay. income and your bills, period. Mm -hmm. If you're going to act like you're married, get <laughs> married. Parla, you're right. She mumbles incoherently. If you're mm -hmm. not married, do not combine your finances. And don't, com and, and don't combine your finances with someone who's no better at financing than you are. If you want to split the rent, each of you put in 1100 bucks and have a roommate, that's your business. 
but I can't find any data in 35 years of doing what I do that says that people shacking up, playing house, acting like they're married when they're not married actually prosper. None of them do, you included. Your financial life sucks. You're having no fun. Lots of stress, yeah, lots of fear. <laughs> I think the plan would be to get married. We're very serious. Yeah, but bull crap. They're no more serious about getting married than they are about cleaning up the debt. Because may I remind you, family, she has, for those who missed the intro, 55, no, what is it? She has $88,000 in student loan debt. She has $52,000 in credit card debt. She has $10,000 in a car. And the credit card debt, she at, she at first thought it was $32,000. Then she goes, well, it must be $52,000 because I'm looking at about hundred and fifty grand in debt. So she has debt, and I think that still may not be the end of it. Her boyfriend has debt. Hey, they can start a marriage with a good you know, quarter million dollar in debt between them. Yeah, you're right, MJ. MJ says, tell her, Dave. <laughs> it's not really something that we can afford. Bull crap. You'd already we be married. We can afford. You'd already be married. Go get married. Go get married tomorrow. You don't need 100. You can get married by going to the justice of the peace. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't need no big fancy wedding with all the tooting bells and whistles. I mean, okay, I'd like a little more than the justice of the peace, okay? Just a little bit more, but... You know, I, I don't need, you know, a rock on my finger and some big old fancy wedding. Now, I don't I don't need all that. For a thousand dollar wedding. I know. <laughs> I wish I could, but obviously I can't even pay my bills right now. So. OK, so why does she. OK, guys, I, I don't I like to judge people too much by the way they sound on the phone. OK, but man, she don't sound very bright. I, I'm I'm just I'm just saying she she don't sound she doesn't sound like she has all of her marbles together. She's not coming across with conviction like she knows that she's in financial trouble and that she has really worked to determine the steps necessary to heal it and to repair her damage. You know, it's it's almost like um, well, yeah, I'm kind of in debt and yeah, you know, I got this boyfriend and you know we're we're playing house and about marriage no posting to get married to solve the financial problem like I no don't, it's don't get married because you think it's going to solve your financial problem if anything marriage is going to make your financial problem worse okay unless you both are going in completely debt free and you're like yay part a okay so if she thinks getting oh the, guys remember i just said to you i didn't think she was very intelligent she's proving it Gee, well, if you think if we get married, that'll solve the bill problem. No, it's not. It's going to make it worse with someone like this. Sure, you can get married to someone who's equally financially responsible, and I think it can be flourishing and great. In this situation, no. It I mean, solves the, the whole situation where now you have a husband and wife that are working together. To and you're paying off a quarter million dollars in debt. Mark my words, he's got a lot of debt fix everything you all are playing with this and it's not going to work why doesn't dave say to them instead this is just something i think about why doesn't dave say to them hey why don't you guys each work at cutting down your debt by 50 percent you cut down your because she said he has debt too all right you cut down your debt by 50 i cut down my debt by 50 we'll see you know We'll see if we can meet after that. Not saying you have to be debt free. I definitely don't, you know, need to marry someone who's debt free. But I will tell you this: I would not marry someone if it required me to have to go out and work more hours than I already work, because you know we're so far in debt as a couple. You know, I, I have to go out and work even harder. I'm just simply saying, okay, I'm happy to work the hours that I work. All right. But would I want to be with someone that the only way we can get out of debt is for me to go work even more hours? Been there, done that. Don't wish to do it again. But I am happy to take my, you know, relatively debt-free life. Oh, parlor, MJ, you'll be happy to know. Um, I have uh, down to the last four payments on my car. Okay. Um, but I'm happy to take what I have and share. And if my sharing still is not enough, to help contribute in such a way that we can get out of debt, then we do 
have a problem because it means there's so much that the only way we can get out is for both of us to work. And, you know, we're not in our 20s. Okay, I'm not in my 20s anymore. Okay, you know, I'm 57. So I have to take it from a little bit of a, I can't even medically do it. Even if I wanted to work more hours, I really can't medically do it. But I will share and give everything I have. I don't have any mm -hmm. data points in any of the experience that we have or any of the research we have that says what you're doing is going to work. It's not going to work. MJ writes, this is time she's had to face it all and say it out loud right there on the radio. It's probably overwhelming. Yes. And it's hard. It's hard to look at yourself and say, I have $150,000 in debt. I'll be honest, um, my two, two bankruptcies trained me well to be able to look at myself all the time and go, I have $25,000 in credit card debt. I have a car that I cannot afford. I, I, my, my lips were just trained to say it after a while, like water off a duck's back. I would not recommend going down that financial path. So, you know, mm -hmm. you guys think this is working. It's not working. You just sort of, mm -hmm. kind of, are acting like we might sort of be married. You got to stop it. So anyway, you do. All right, guys, that is the end of the first show.